I first met Andrew when I was six years old. We were watching the Nottingham Panthers, our favourite ice hockey team. At the age of six, I realised that he couldn't hear me. Back then, we communicated through countless fist bumps and high fives. We were friends that understood each other's expressions. As I got older, I learnt a few basic signs so we could talk about the ice hockey school and how far he ran that weekend. From the age of 12, I attempted to teach myself British Sign Language, as I was told by my teachers at school that it wasn't part of the curriculum. I came across level one courses that were over £100 to complete. I couldn't afford that when I was 12. I just wanted to be able to speak to my friend. Age 16, I went into Waterstones, trying to find some form of educational resource there. But in the four-storey store, there was only two books covering British Sign Language. So here I am, age 17, talking to people affected by this and looking for answers. Masks affected me massively. Um, yeah, so it got like quite, it got really bad, especially when I was, I mean, it was bad enough in supermarkets and stuff, but I had my mum and I had my dad and they could kind of talk to me and tell me what was going on. They used to pull their mask down to talk to me or used to text me. The only time I could actually get my dad to text me anything. But when I was um, in the school, it was really difficult because not only was I missing the academic side, which is incredibly important to me, I was also missing the social side. I couldn't talk to my friends anymore. I felt isolated because we weren't allowed to have our masks pulled down in class for obvious reasons, and also we weren't allowed to have our masks pulled down for common rooms. My mum can't watch films in cinemas, which is really annoying because she's a bit, she loves films. Like growing up, I always had a bunch of DVDs, which is another thing we have to buy DVDs because they're the only things that have subtitles. And it's really annoying when like she wants to see a new film but she can't because the only subtitle screening is on at like 8am on a Monday which who's going to go to the cinema at 8am on a Monday? From the age of five to about the age of 16 I was discriminated against and it wasn't just the students like the kids are not the issue in this scenario when it when you're like five or six it's not the kids that are the issue it's it's the teachers it's the adults that influence the kids to behave that way and as a teacher your job is not to like discriminate, your job is to nurture everyone, no matter what their disability, no matter their background. And unfortunately, I was limited so much, and that has massively knocked my confidence down. So HEX is um, an accessibility-led digital agency based in Nottingham. Um, everything we do has accessibility at heart, so whether it's design, content writing, development. Um, we've been really lucky to work with universities, uh, colleges, NHS, um, all by creating accessible websites. And I feel like nowadays people don't know how to communicate properly. It's like they meet my mum and she's like, oh, I'm deaf, and they just panic. Be, be ready to accept uh, that someone may be coming up to you that, that may not be able to communicate in the same way that you would communicate with someone. Take your time, you know, don't be scared, don't run away. If you need some assistance, you, there are many methods that you could do, possibly writing things down, but just don't be afraid. Try, um, you know, both people will be wanting to learn from this experience. So the more that you can welcome people in, uh, the more that you can try, the, the better. Deafness isn't sad. I had, me being deaf, I'm not sad about being deaf, I'm sad about being discriminated against because of a lack of deaf like awareness and deaf education. So teaching staff in supermarkets or shops how to communicate with deaf people is the number one basic thing. I think the government just needs to do better because right now I'm struggling to kind of, and not just me, but so many young people are being disadvantaged because we happen to be deaf. Like, why should we, why should our disability mean we get disadvantaged just because you don't care enough? You know, like, do better. <laughs>